Hey friends, it's Miss A of the Northeast Branch of the Reading Public Library and today we are going to be doing a super easy family night craft. We will be making spooky spider treat bowls. Now if you haven't come by already, make sure you stop by the Northeast Branch so you can get a go pack to make this week's craft. It will have everything you need to do what we're doing here. So this is what will be in the go pack. A black bowl, eight black straws, and two eyes. You'll also want some tape for this. If you don't have any tape at home, you can do this craft at the library. Just keep your go pack with you, bring it back to the library, and just ask for eight pieces of tape. We'll be happy to give them to you. So, let's get started. All right, so this is really easy, like I said before. The first thing we want to do is take our eight straws and separate them into two groups of four. So one side is going to go on one side of our bowl and one set is going to go on the other side. Sort of like so. Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to stick my two eyes onto the lip of the bowl. So these are sticky, so you can peel the sticker off the back. You don't need glue or anything. So I've stuck that off. I'll take it and stick it to the ring. And then same on the other side. And there we go. So now that we have our cute little eyes on our spider, we are going to attach the legs. So they should still be in two piles on either side of your bowl. We're going to flip our bowl over. Make sure you keep those eyes in the center. Now I'm going to tape all of these to the bottom of the bowl. So what you want to do is make sure you put them on evenly. So I'll put one from one side and then one from the other. And you want to be taping on the ends that don't have the bendy part. So take the straight side and that's what you'll be taping underneath. So the first set, I've put it sort of like 90 degree angle from each other right towards the top. I'm going to put the next set sort of going straight across. So it looks like that so far. Then I'm gonna do an angle that's slightly less severe than the first angle I did, but on the other side. Underneath or above our cross piece. And then for the last two, just find some place to sort of squish them in. I actually think it might be good to put them right between there. The only thing that really matters is you have four on each side. If you put them all around in a circle, it'll look a little bit like a jellyfish, an octopus. But still, it'll be fine. A little hard to tape this last one. Okay. 
All right, got it. So the bottom doesn't look fantastic. It's covered in tape, but you will not see the bottom because we're gonna flip it over. So right now it looks sort of like a flattened spider. So all we've got to do left is we're gonna take each of these straws and we're gonna bend them. And that's going to give our spider sort of little feet. So I'll show you one of the front ones. Pull it out a little and then bend it down. And so you're gonna have to play with this a little bit until all of the feet sort of enable the bowl to stand up. So I'm going to do that now. All right, so all of my legs have been bent. If you look at the table, it is hovering in the air. So you can put things in it that are heavier. It might sink down though and sort of look squished. So I recommend putting lighter things in it. You could put just one serving of M&Ms or Skittles. You could easily use this as a bowl for popcorn. That doesn't weigh too much, things like that. If you have a small bowl of cereal, but basically this is it a super easy craft this week very creepy a great place to store your candy corn i hope you guys have a great week this week we are so close to halloween one of my favorite holidays i hope you'll join us next week for another and our last of the month spooky family night craft and make sure you subscribe and like down below if you like this video to make sure you stay in touch with us with all of our content for Halloween. Bye guys!